uh, we have already discussed how a uh, program is executed by a processor and what are the operations involved while executing a program. Now consider a special situation here. Processor is executing a program now and the interrupts register hold, uh, hold the instruction which is executing by the processor currently and the program counter hold the address of the next instruction to be executed after finishing the current execution. Okay, in such a situation one of the input or output uh, device need an urgent service from the processor and it generate an interrupt signal. This interrupt signal acts as a request for the processor to get an immediate service. The processor is actually executing a program. At that time, it gets an interrupt request. It is a uh, request for getting an immediate service. Then, the, uh, in such a situation, what the processor actually wants to do is processor stop the execution of this program and collect the status information of this currently executing program and store the status information into a temporary storage space. What does the status information include? The status information include uh, the value store in the general purpose uh, registers and all and mainly the value of the program count. Okay, all these information collected together and stored into a temporary storage space. After that, uh, the processor moved to solve the urgent service request. So it start an interrupt service routine. After uh, completing the interrupt service routine, the processor move back to this temporary storage and collect the uh, stored status information back and start the execution of the interrupted program from where it stopped. That is the important point. The processor start the execution of the interrupted program from where it stopped. How it possible? While stopping this program execution, uh, the processor collect the program uh, processor uh, sorry the program counter values and all and store in somewhere. So after completing the uh, interrupt service routine execution, it check the program counter value it uh, informed that where the program want to continue the where the processor want to continue the program execution that means no need to st start the execution of the program from the beginning just start the execution from where it stop okay uh, one more point we want to know is a processor can access data from memory and processor can write data into the memory. Similarly, processor can uh, fetch data from some input devices and also pass data to some output devices directly. For that, it requires some extra machine sequence. That's all. Thank you.